the poem Midsummer Moon. Today is the 19th of November, 212. May, the month of May, derives from Maya, which comes from hell, and the Greek god is Maya, the bright star, good mother. That's May all over. In May you can hear the dynamic dwellers hollering from their charnel house, their barracks in hell. In May you can even see the shimmer of the shadows as they seep out one by one under the midsummer moon in a continuous flow naked as jabers, covered with slush and mud from the year-long confinement, looking at each other from end to end, from head to toe, as if for some respective directions. Far from the door ajar they explore. As the month of May passes, they shrivel and shrivel more and more. Then, brought back to the crack of that corpse-like door, all back swelling in the car charno house once more, thus no one need bother, nor worry about the demonic dwellers of hell. Nature has forbidden them to remain on earth's soil. They have no deathbed, you see, and how often I have seen their heads swing out through the door in the month of May, the gems. against the gems, for they are tall and thin, cross-eyed, small and pointed ears on their heads, heads shaped like needle pins, cone heads, that is. Thus the door shuts and the room once more is no longer vacant, it is full again, edge to edge, up to the brim, the rim of the walled-in barracks. And it should be said, the imps of hell are finished. They have now disinfected the enormous room, for you can't be too careful, even in hell. A large family, indeed, who live like pigs, ah, such unsavory ways. 